Hi guys, I am Cheryl, and I'm getting ready to start this YouTube channel about a lot of different subjects that I've been through in my life. Um, we're going to start out with the abuse of children. I currently have a daughter that lives with her father because he's an attorney. He emptied our bank accounts, left me penniless. Now my daughter is stuck with this man who has sexually molested her. He has brainwashed her or attempted to against her mother. He has corrupted my family by sending them all kinds of messages and going face to face, telling them what an awful mother I am. And I'm sorry if I get choked up here a little bit here, but you have to understand, when you have a child involved that's going through something so traumatic and something so just monstrous that no child should ever have to go through, a parent's heart is absolutely destroyed. Mine is. I knew that he was an abusive man from probably two years after she was born until today. He abused me. He raped me. And if anybody thinks that you don't have a marital rape issue going on, yeah, there is such a thing as marital rape. You're getting me right now in bed because I'm going through all of this stuff in my head right now. And I'm trying to figure out how to start out to explain to some of you people who are in a similar situation how to get out of it without letting your child go into the same atmosphere that my daughter is going through right now. I'm going to give you some of the pitfalls that I've gone through. I'm also going to give you some really good advice and you need to take it no matter how hard it is. Um, use your resources because there's so many out there that people don't even think they're available. They're pro bono lawyers if they emptied your bank account. If you have new assets, they're still pro bono. There's legal aid, which only go there if it's a last resort. Um, here's a little bit of a story about me. I was married for 15 years. My ex-husband started cheating on me right after I gave birth to my daughter. <clears throat> Pardon me, I have a cold. We're in Virginia with the bipolar weather here. It's horrible. Um, so when I found out that my ex was cheating on me, I immediately packed... Oh, sorry! I immediately packed his bags and kicked him out of the house. He immediately emptied out the bank accounts and refused to pay the mortgage on the house because I was a stay-at-home mom with a child that had um, a horrible, horrible disease, epilepsy. She... I fought for her for two years from the time she was born when I first gave her CPR until the time that she was finally diagnosed in a different part of the state two years later. Everybody thought I was crazy. When the machines went on her head, all these crazy things were wrapped around her. They said, no, you're not a crazy mom. You're a diligent mom. So always go with your gut, with your child. So here we get back to the whole, my daughter's been through a whole lot, and God bless her. She's an amazing, amazing child to have been through so much. She keeps her faith. We're a real, very religious mom and daughter team. She is my mini-me, and I will get her on here very soon to show you how much of a mini-me she is, inside and out, and I'm very proud of that. Because I'm a strong woman. I escaped the violence. I escaped the negativity, and I came through it with grace. And, yeah, it was hard. It was the most difficult phase of my life. Sure, there were times that you want to throw in the bucket. You think you can't do anything whatsoever. That's what I thought. But guess what? You can. Unfortunately, I didn't know all this information, so that's why I want to share it with those of you that are going through similar situations with me. 
I want to take you on my journey from right now where my ex has my daughter most of the time. <clears throat> and now I finally am getting her much more often because the court has deemed me to be a fit mother. I've raised four children, two college graduates, um, one from Japan in Japanese, one from Virginia Tech, go Hokies, and one from the United States Air Force. Those are my older children. They're out on their own. They escaped all of the horrific things that went on in the household. That's a blessing and a curse because these kids had a daddy complex. That's going to come on later, later down the line. But for right now, we're going to talk about my daughter that is 11 and going through this hell on earth. So I'm plugging my phone in right now because I have been trying to get on the line with somebody, but I'm blurry. Hang on. Okay, I'm back. <clears throat> when I went through this divorce, um, I had a friend of mine, my very best friend of 36 years that was living with us. A friend of ours found out that he had a glioblastoma, just like John McCain recently passed up. And our friend, he passed away later. But what started the whole divorce scenario and his character assassination, which those of you who have been abused, you understand what a character assassination is. You know what somebody taking you and putting you down to a level that you just can't begin to imagine how you're going to crawl out from. Nobody knows how hard that is. Everybody says, why do you stay? Well, when they empty out your bank accounts and they character assassinate you and they make you to look like a Betty Bodrick Roderick I don't know the name but anyway um yeah you really have doubts and you have fears with my ex being an attorney that made it all the more feel fearful for me because he had the system in his hand again another fear what I want all of you going through this to know there's nothing that the truth will not prevail over. Nothing. You just have to be strong enough. You have to know that this man put you down. He targeted you. He wanted to make you his arm candy or he wanted to make you his sex slave or he wanted to make you your, you know, his punching bag, whatever it is. Abuse comes in many different forms. First red flag I got was when he went through my phone after we were married, put all of my contacts in his phone. I didn't know that until I went to a therapist and I found out that is a form of controlling abuse. There are 24 different forms of abuse. I'm going to bring you the chart later on down the line when we go through this whole story. But we're going to get back to Madison and how... You need to keep your child safe from your monstrous spouse. Guys are welcome to look at this too. It's not just a girl thing. It's a child thing. So what I want to tell all of you is don't fall for you're never going to win because of this. You're never going to win because of that. Because you're only going to lose if you let yourself lose. I let myself lose. TV's on. Hold on. How rude. Yep, that's not working. Not working. Nope. There we go. I'm so sorry for the interruptions, but this is my first video that I'm posting about this really, really deep subject that affects so many children across this country and so many spouses across this country or domestic partners or you know, lovers it, it affects millions and millions of people every single day and if you don't think you can become a statistic sorry I can't speak 
you can't, you are fooling yourself. Everybody that is an abused person in any way, they can and possibly will be a statistic. In other words, you're going to be the one, or you're possibly going to be the one that's going to be found stabbed in the chest, strangled, uh, fake suicide. You're going to have your heart ripped out. You're going to have your mind thrown to the wolves. You're going to have everything tested. <coughs> My whole thing is how you handle this. First of all, there are so many resources in your area to get you through. I did not use those resources. Why? I was scared. I was embarrassed. I was mortified that it never told a soul what happened under my own roof. So I allowed myself to be a victim without even knowing it. I had no clue that I was allowing myself to be a victim. That's not good stuff. You have to tell someone because if you don't no one's gonna believe you and that's the honest to God truth I've never had a problem with people believing me in the past once my ex got hold of me all of a sudden I became a drunk drug addict that was in a catatonic state that neglected my child and, and so many oh slept with everybody around me oh my gosh hello I wouldn't even sleep with the ex much less anybody around me he scarred me from that for a long time and I'm just now starting to think about that three years later mm -hmm. that bad so what you want to do is you want to get some allies you want to get some allies that are not part of your dual circle or your family circle or your you want people that you can actually trust with your heart your soul and your mind somebody that knows you for you somebody that believes you if you don't have that if your significant other has taken that away from you seek help it's out there look into the YMCA the YWCA Look into the abuse hotline because abuse is a serious matter. I'm suffering from PTSD right now. <clears throat> my daughter is suffering, but I can't get her diagnosed because my husband has forbid it. Ex-husband. We just got divorced a couple of days ago. Getting used to that. Glad we're divorced. Not glad at the outcome. So what I want you to know is you're going to be tuning back into this channel if you're interested in this subject because I have so much information to share with you. I have so many things to tell you about how beautiful you, beautiful you are as a person and how much you are worthy of living. Don't let anybody put you down. Don't let anybody assassinate your character. Go out there, make sure that people know that you are a very strong person. You can overcome this and just keep a tight, tight inner circle of friends and use the help that we have. Use every bit of the help we have because we have a lot of help. So I'm going to be giving you some numbers, but know that you're not alone. I'm the one that is going to tell you how to keep from ending up like me where my ex sleeps with my daughter every night and I have to live with the fact that I didn't seek help earlier. I'm overcoming it. I'm dealing with it. But you cannot give in to the terror that they are going to continue to cause you. The parent it will happen. It's still happening two and a half, three years from now, or from ago. So, I hope you listen to me more. Um, this is my first time actually getting on YouTube to try to discuss something like this. But understand, 
Your child depends on you. Your child is your only salvation, or you are your only child's salvation. You have to be an advocate for that child because even now, when she wants to go to the court and talk to the judge, talk to the magistrates, they all send us in circles because I don't have primary physical custody because of my mistakes. Tomorrow, we're gonna to tune in when I'm not getting ready to go to bed and I'm not sleepy-eyed, and we're gonna start talking about ways that you can work on getting out of the situation. Don't let them hide money. They're doing it. Don't let them brainwash your child. They're doing it. Don't let them assassinate your character. They're doing it. Don't let them monopoli monopolize your friends. They're doing it. I cannot speak tonight, and I'm sorry, because I'm probably very nervous, and I have a cold. Um, right now, I'm waiting for CPS to call me back, because yet again, her friend is now a part of that whole cycle of abuse, and she's terrified. They get people to lie. They still try to control you, because if they can't have you, they don't want anybody else to have you. They want you to be damaged goods. Guess what? I'm living in hell, but I'm not damaged goods because I'm surviving and I'm learning how to thrive. And I have faith in God. For those of you that are not Christians, I understand, I respect all faiths. My faith is Christianity, but whatever your spirituality, your faith is, Go there. Trust it. Trust your heart. Trust your gut. Trust your soul. I'm not bashing anybody on anything. That's my personal view. If you want to know more about that, I've got another YouTube channel on my faith. But anyway, have a good night, guys, and understand you have hope. There is an answer to what's going to happen in your child's life. You are the answer, you're the only answer. Don't let that child get harmed anymore by the mistakes I made. So learn from them, do something about them, and let's get through this together and let's, let's stop the cycle of abuse, no matter who it is. Friend, family, foe, anybody, spouse, significant other, lover, ex-boyfriend, ex-girlfriend, ex anybody they're gonna do it until they get you to break they're going to do it don't break that's when your child will lose you I'm gonna give you the confidence that you need to get I'm gonna get more comfortable right here with this nighttime face with no makeup 53 year old with an 11 year old up to 32, a lot more going on I gotta share with you because this stuff is really, really damaging to your mind, your whole character, and it damages your soul. It makes you feel worthless. You're not. Know that. I'm telling you, as someone that everybody thinks is worthless, I'm not. Neither are you. Come back tomorrow. We're gonna talk more about this subject. If you have any questions you want answered, if there's anything that you want me to create a vlog on or whatever, send me a message. I'm here for you guys. We got more subjects to talk about, lots of them, but right now this is the most important one that I really want to touch on. So, good night. Sleep well knowing that you have a friend here. I'm a phone call away or a video chat away. I'm here for all you guys going through the same hell I'm going through. But I want you to get out in a better position than I got out. So, Cheryl signing off. Daisy Madison is my channel to be. Right now, I think it's under my name. But the nickname is Daisy Madison. Long story wide, 
my daughter is going to join us during one of our sessions. And we'll go from there. So have a great night, guys. There's hope. There's faith. You're going to come a long way if you keep up with me and don't make my mistakes. Love to you all. Peace, faith, God, spirituality, love. Love you guys. Night.